Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? So here's three tips for you, for your Facebook profile or band profile or professional profile, whatever. The first is about regarding communicating with your people, followers, fans. The other two are pretty much the same, but uh, it goes for your banner picture or cover photo and profile photo. So a question, quick question. If you meet somebody in the street, in the pub, club, wherever, that comes up to you and uh, are cheering your music or uh, a recording you did or a concert you did that meant a lot to them, how do you respond? Are you thanking them? Are you being appreciative? Or do you simply go like this and move on and without saying anything? What do you do on Facebook when people are commenting your stuff? Are you answering them back? Or are you just giving them the thumbs up? It is very, very, very important that you get back to everybody that comments on your posts because they are taking time to give you something positive or negative, doesn't matter, but respond to everybody because this is the way you build strong relationships with your fans. And your fans and super fans are the most important ones. Okay, so always get back to everybody that comments on your profiles. This goes also for Instagram, of course. But today's topic is Facebook. And the second one is your cover photo, the top picture, which is also very important because that's the, pretty much the first thing they see when they look you up on Facebook. Uh, have the picture, show them what you're all about, maybe some messages in the picture. But if you're a band, show the whole band and the logo and maybe a comment uh, what you're all about. But the secret tip is in addition to have a great photo that says a lot for the people who are looking you up, put in your biography in the text for the picture. the backstory of your life or whatever you're doing or the biography of the artist life you have and to put in also some links to your website or Spotify or wherever they can find your music and uh, more information about you. I'll, I'll show you pretty quick, but that goes for your top cover picture and also your profile picture. Put in some text that comes with the picture. I'll, I'll, I'll share with you how I'm, I have done it on my profile. So if I'm the technical whiz that I'm supposed to be, I'll share my telephone so I can show you real quick. Share screen. Ooh so here's my profile, personal profile. I have the, the cover photo here with the picture, what I'm doing. Uh, I have the two groups that I'm uh, using, the smile provider and Oompa. And if I press on the cover photo on this one, you see the same picture, but down here, I have put in some text where you can read what I'm all about, and also the link for the Oompa, and uh, some more information about the process, what I've been doing, what I'm all about, uh, blah, blah, blah. And also I've done it in English. So English speaking people can read the same thing. Well, it might look uh, a bit long in the text, but uh, the people who are interested will read 
and those who are not, they won't. And also if I press on the profile picture, which should be a very simple picture showing just you and not your you and your dog or wife and whatever, because people get easily confused on who you are. So if I press on the same picture or the profile picture, I also have down here, show more, the same text here. So that's a little bit on how you can do some extra information real quick in front of your Facebook uh, profile or uh, professional page or whatever you have. And in addition to that, put in your links in uh, on the left side of uh, the information uh, on your profile. So that's three, three tips today, communicating with your fans to get them in order to in order to get them into super fans you have to start communicating communicating is the key with the online way of doing things secondly put some text into your cover photo put some text into your profile photo and that concludes today's recording so please enjoy your day and see you soon.